there and Hello. welcome back to our channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Rachel and we're the Stitch Sisters. So in this video we're going to be talking about the different weights of denim. So you hear the terms GSM, you hear ounces, you oh. hear lightweight, medium weight, heavy weight. What does all that mean? How do we make sense of it? talk about weight yes. yes so weight is a really really poor, important part of choosing denim because what you make with it can be vastly mm. affected if you make something that's supposed to be lightweight out of something that's stiff then it's gonna not look how you intended it if no. you try and make something uh, that's supposed to be like a good stone pair of jeans that have a really lightweight fabric that's not gonna look right no. either so choosing the right weight is really important and to make things really complicated mm. as with everything else the metric and imperial system is all mixed up and jumbled up so some some yeah. people will give you the weight of the denim in ounces yes. and some people will give it to you in GSM. And some people will just refer to it as light, medium and heavy, which I would be wary of because I think that's really open to interpretation. It is, absolutely. Like and what you... some people consider heavy, I wouldn't or vice no. versa. If in doubt, if you find a denim that you really like and it just says medium weight, you're entitled to contact the company and ask them what that really means and see if you can get more information. So I would do that definitely. Yeah, there'll be more information from their supplier. So yeah. they should have some extra information on the tag or on their system. So it's mm. okay to ask those questions. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and give you an overview of how those weights work. And what we'll do is we'll actually link conversions down below in the description. So we'll mm -hmm. tell you what ounces equates to in GSM and all that kind of thing. So you can use it as a reference to switch between the two. Yeah. So to give you an example, a one ounce, uh, one ounce anything uh, is like the equivalent of newspaper. So clearly that's I'm not something wearing newspaper. you would wear. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get to two ounces, we're kind of more in the area of printer paper. So you're right. talking about slightly heavier mm -hmm. and that's around kind of 60, 70 GSM to give you an example of how mm -hmm. that equates. By the time we get to three ounce, we're in fabric territory, but we're probably looking at something like a lightweight poly cotton or a lining fabric. So again, we're nowhere near jeans, no. um, but you know, a lot of kind of very, very lightweight brow blouse fabrics and that sort of thing might end up being around three ounces, yeah. which is about 100 GSM. Very light, probably sheer. Yes. Wouldn't keep you warm in the winter. No, exactly. <laughs> Definitely not jeans. <laughs> so four ounce is kind of where we're starting <gasps> on our sort of denim chambre scale. So this is a chambre. So you can see, I'm just gonna hold it up like that so you can see how the drape is. It's not sheer. You can see that it looks like a denim. It's got that indigo dye on it. Mm -hmm. But I would make a shirt out of that. A or lightweight maybe, shirt. A lightweight yeah. shirt or a summer's dress or something like that. It's gonna be a summer fabric. It's not got any weight to it really at all. And it's nowhere near jeans. Nowhere near <laughs> jeans. <laughs> so going up from that, once we get to about five ounce, so about 170 GSM, we're looking again still at kind of chambre weight really, but you're getting now into kind of more sturdy shirts, possibly a yeah. really lightweight jacket. Um, I've made a pair of um, Megan Nielsen flint trousers out of a very similar denim to this actually. Um, and so really good for where you're starting to get into those trousers but you want them to be kind of yes. wider and maybe a bit swooshier. Or shorts, shorts or even, um like you said, a shirt, a more a chunkier shirt that would be a bit warmer throughout the seasons. Yeah. That's what I would make. Also current. great for anything where you're going to put an elasticated waist in, which you know we're a big fan of at the moment, Ooh, yeah. and anything too bulky isn't very flattering when you no. do that. So those lighter weights are really, really good mm. for that. So then we're talking about kind of a six ounce, which is about 200 grams. And this is where some patterns might start on jeans, but we're talking about potentially a jegging um, or again, a kind of lightweight summer trouser. It, yeah, be a lightweight summer trouser. I, I think this is a better dress weight. Yes. Because it's got a little bit more structure to it. So something like a denim shirt dress or even a, a, de a lightweight summer denim skirt, mm -hmm. I would make out of that kind yeah. of weight. Okay, cool. So now we've got a first coloured denim to show you. Um, so this one is about a seven ounce, which is about 230 GSM. Yes. Um, and you do see a lot of coloured denims in this weight, but to us, this still isn't like proper no, jeans. It's not jeans weight. I would make, as you see, a lot of pinafore dresses made yes. out of this. 
or possibly dungarees. You mm -hmm. could make some dungarees because yeah. they are a little bit more um, forgiving. They're a bit more oversized. So these would make uh, our dungarees would be great in these because yeah. it would it would be a good a good fabric to use for it. But I wouldn't make jeans. Well, uh, one thing that you might consider doing with these is because these do have a little bit of stretch in. So these lighter ones, if they have stretch in them, are good for kind of jeggings and skinny jeans and that yes. sort of thing. And there are some patterns that do call four weights as light as six or seven. Um, and when we get into the patterns uh, video, then we'll be able to tell you which ones. Um, but often what you find is the widest range of colours tend to come in the lighter weight yes. options and yeah. aren't so much for your kind of more sturdy pairs of jeans. The heavier it tends to be more of your traditional denim colours or bleached or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. It? So have we got an example of eight ounce? So we this have. is around 270. This lovely red one, which is very nice. So again, we're a little bit more structured yeah. here. You can see we're getting stiffer as we go up the, the ounceage. I think this is the earliest I would start considering to call it a jean. I know it's nowhere near what Levi's would consider no. a jean, but I th I have got jeans in this kind of weight. Yeah. They are very lightweight and mm. tend to be the wider leg style. Um, I would still make a shirt out of that though. Yeah, you absolutely that would be could. That would be the perfect shirt weight for Or a me. lightweight jacket. Yes, a lightweight jacket, that kind of thing. Yes. But to me, that's maybe a bit too light still for jeans. Okay. I'm very fussy when it comes to my jeans. Yeah, I mean, it depends what you're thinking of. And bear, bear yeah. in mind that for this process, we're looking to recreate the types of jeans that you buy in the shop. So we are looking for those sturdier Levi-style jeans. Yes. Um, and whereas these would be more kind of your lighter weight, sort of cheaper end, um, high yeah. street type of this jeans. Yeah, this is eight ounce. Okay. I think to oh, me. is that eight or nine? Because that might one be eight. Nine. This might so be this nine might then, nine. that's nine. I think it's just under, because yeah. nine is about 300 and this is 290, so it's as close as we're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> but to me this feels, maybe it's just that little bit, it's that little bit stiffer, Yeah. it's that little bit more of a coarser fabric, um, which feels to me a little bit more like denim. But it has but been still, washed has still. been yeah, washed, yeah. Washed. Mm -hmm. So I would, I, I think I would still like to go higher, okay. but it's a good general way, and this is a Minerva core range. Yeah. Minerva have got their own range of denims, mm -hmm. which I believe that they're adding to all the time. Mm. Um, and so are you just comparing that to I my am shirt? actually, I'm thinking that this is exactly the weight of your shirt, feeling yeah. it, because I've got the same shirt, doesn't look the same anymore, because Nikki's <laughs> bleached hers and done some amazing shishiko details. See, that's the other thing we love about denim. Mine is just the colour it was born, which was this colour basically. Um, and it does feel the same way. Yeah. Whereas this is one of those awesome shirts that kind of doubles up as a jacket. I often wear it just yes. as an over shirt. I've like just got a t-shirt on yeah. underneath. So you can kind of layer it. You could even put like a roll neck or something underneath it. Yeah. But it is that good weight. Yes. That it and could that's be what both. we would consider nine ounce. Yes. yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Very good. Love but it. yeah, Minerva Core have got their own range of denims right the way through from um, from a basic chambray right the way through to heavier weights, don't they? Yes. There's not a great selection in that um, heavier weight. The heavier weights, yeah. but I guess that that's maybe coming. They've started with the lighter weights and moving their weight. Yes. Through. And we are oh, going to talk anyway. about price in a minute, so you'll get yes. an idea of how much of these <laughs> fabrics cost and kind of what it is. What it is worth paying extra for and that sort of thing um so then this one here is a uh, is kind of close to a 10 ounce yeah um it's just under a 10 ounce this is a really lovely lovely denim it's a mind the maker and it's organic um and it is actually raw but it doesn't have that um kind of it's not stiffness, stiffness. To it, which I might the mean color. they've used like a different mm. uh, enzyme if you look at the color it's got Definitely looks different to what we've seen before. Yeah, so we're going to talk about dye. we're going to talk about color washes and stuff like that in a minute as well. So you can see that they're very they're very different blues, yes. but they're both indigos. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, that one is uh, that. Do you say that was a ten ounce? Well, it's just under a ten it's ounce. Under. And ten ounce is where Levi's first consider it to be kind of. Uh, that's what they consider lightweight. Yeah. But for them, they're thinking about jeans and jackets. So this is kind of the the lightest or uh, fabric that they would consider making jeans or jackets out of. Yeah. And that would actually be beautiful in either. Yes, I think that's a good, really good jacket weight actually. Yeah. As well. Really nice, and it's really got nice. lots of drape to it. But yes. we don't often see that with a ten ounce. We like that one. Yes. Um, <laughs> So, moving on then, so 11 ounce, or facts, let me show you first of all, this one here is 
they're just slightly heavier than the other ones. So this is a 350, um, which is just over 10 ounces. So that one's yeah. probably about a nine and a half, and this one's probably about a 10 and a half. Um, but this is definitely the type of denim that yeah. I think of when it but comes let's to pull jeans. them up next to each other because you'll see the difference in the drape between one and the other. So if I hold mine up like that, yeah. And then Rachel's got hers. You can see mm -hmm. how it's for forming these stiff folds yeah. Yeah. in comparison with these soft folds here. Whereas this one, whilst they're very similar in weight, this is definitely a premium denim. And I think maybe it's to do with the quality of the fibres, the quality of the cotton. If they've used a, a superior cotton, like a Pima cotton or something like that, it yeah. is going to have that much Soft silkier feel. texture mm -hmm. to it than your kind of traditional cotton. Yes. Um, but um, but this is kind of where we're first kind of looking at this sort of 10 ounces upwards for proper jeans, okay? Yeah. So that is, uh, what did I say, 11 ounce. 11 ounce. Well, no, 10 ounce that is, but it's kind of just above. Just that above, just under. Yes. So and then this, this one, one is the 11, 375 yeah. this is. So this is, as you can see, this is a bit more of a slubby texture, which will be you, intentional. You can really see the grain on this one, so you can really see the twill on this one on both sides, um, because it's obviously it's got more of those white fibres coming through yeah. to give that kind of slub effect. Yeah, and this will have been done with less of that sizing starch that we talked yeah. about, because they, whereas they don't, with the sizing, you're trying to smooth off all those fibres and protect them during weaving, whereas mm. here they're actually looking for that kind of broken look. Yes. Um, and they want those kind of fibres to be showing. So that would definitely have less starch and it feels it considering that yes, you know, it is actually a, heavy, a yeah. raw denim. It's not yeah. washed, but it doesn't feel stiff because it doesn't have that starch on it. Yes. Um, so this is next kind of weight. This is 11 ounce, which again would make a really, really lovely pair of jeans. Nice wide leg pair of jeans. I'd, I would like to make jeans that look like they were like born in the 1920s out of that day. Yeah, <laughs> because they, they would look like yeah. kind of workers jeans. That yeah, they would, thing. definitely. They <laughs> managed to get that kind of, you know, lifting effect yes, whilst like they're it. still raw. Um, so next up, we've got about a uh, 12 ounce, I think. So yeah, 12 this, ounce. This is a 375. Yeah. So we're kind of in the middle. So 12 ounce again. is where we're getting into what medium weight is considered as far as Levi's are concerned. Yeah. Um, and again, we're talking jeans, we're talking jackets. Um, to me, that feels like jeans. Yes, definitely. It's a jeans weight for me. Well, you could still get away with a wide leg jean in that because it's still got mm. some nice drape to it. Um, but I just think it's such a lovely, lovely quality. Really, yeah. really lovely. And we'll get into it. But this one is one of Minerva's core range. And it's only twelve ninety nine. Yes. Meters, so that might be going on my short list. And it's a lovely <laughs> colour of that one as well. Right. And then finally oh. here, we've got this one is the equivalent of a 13 ounce. So it's 440 is about 13 ounce. This is about 429. So it's probably a 12 and a half. And this is obviously just done with those white fibres. It's not done with any indigo fibres at all. So it's got this very natural look. It's very stiff, but that's because it is raw and it is organic. It looks um, like calico, doesn't it? It's that calico colour. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that these would be great in like a straight leg jean or that sort of thing, but it's way too thick for you to make a skinny. And oh, it's God, probably yeah. too stiff as well to do like a wide leg because they would literally just, unless that's yeah. what you're going for, they would literally yeah. just stand up by the knees, yes. wouldn't they? Um, but it's still really, really lovely fabric. Um, but, but that's this, jacket weight. To that's me. jacket weight, but it's also other things. You think about bags, you think about homewares. It's not just clothing. Mm -hmm. that you can make with denim yeah so this is more it feels to me more of an upholstery weight yeah so if you're making outdoor cushions or you were making a uh, a make great storage baskets make storage baskets kind of it would yeah. have that structure mm. that you would look for in those kind of things but also yeah. the durability yeah you wouldn't need interfacing with this sort of fabric no. would you? <laughs> And then we're actually back to where we started. So this is the first denim that we showed you, which, which is, is the heaviest, the, one, the heaviest one. This is the 500 GSM, which puts it at about 14, 14 and a half ounces. Yeah. Um, so this is what's considered heavyweight. Um, and this is the sort of thing that I would associate with kind of my husband's jeans, you know, those kind of uh, workwear, yeah. more engineered type of jeans. And the sort of jeans that you see a lot of the Merchant and Mills stuff made out of is that traditional yes. workwear that yeah. really does remind you of 
of kind of when Levi's first started. Yeah. Um, and this is exactly the sort of thing that you would make as a kind of bigger pair of jeans and then either wear for three to six months or shrink to fit. And those, that's raw, is it? That's one of the yes, raw denims. Yes, that's one of the raw denims. Lovely. So hopefully that gives you an idea of all the different weights and um, it helps to see it, I think. Obviously you can't feel it, so hopefully we've given you yeah. enough information. But like we said, if you've got any questions, just comment below and we'll, yeah. we'll try and answer those for you. If we had feel a vision that would be much better. I know, said, why sorry. can't we invent feel a vision <laughs> feel the vision and that will help with all our fabric videos. <laughs> cool, so we will see you very soon with some more denim related fun and in the meantime, happy sewing. <laughs> Bye. Bye.